Hi, Vanessa here. Welcome to another、um, episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So in today's presentation, as what I've always been advocating, is the necessity to learn as many concepts, methods as you can. You realize in this question, instead of the common total value concept, I'm using another way to solve the question. And this method, I would say, is is much faster,、uh, less prone to careless mistake too. So let's take a look. So、um, and also for presentation wise, I've changed the numbers to make it smaller so that it's easier to visualize. And once you understood the concept, you will be able to solve using this concept regardless of the number. Let's take a look. A certain number of vans had been booked for a school outing for some students. In each van, if each van were to take four students, five students would not be able to get up the van. If each van were to take seven students, there would be one empty van left. Part A: How many vans were booked? Part B: How many students were there? So one point,、uh, one thing to take note is the number of students and the number of vans were the same in both scenarios. So let's take a look. Scenario one. Scenario one. We were told that each van could take four students. We don't know how many vans there were. Just dot dot dot. <laughs> And then the last van would be fully occupied too, with four students. And we were told that five students would not be able to get up the van. So let's add up using、uh, scenario one to add out scenario two. In scenario two, we know that there will be one one empty van. So let's take out this empty van. So there will be four students. Let's take out. Let's take out this four students, and plus the five assisting students that could not get on the van in the first place. So with this, we are told that now the assisting van will be able to take seven students. That means. Three more than the original, or、uh, three more than the first scenario. So these nine students here, four plus five, I'm going to put them in the assisting van. Can you see this? That's your answer. In this case, you can see that the number of vans in scenario two is actually four plus five divided by three, and that gives you nine divided by. Oh, three, which is three, so three friends in scenario two. What is the extra number? You have to add back the empty van. So, if we know that, then we can use either scenarios to find the number of students. So, using scenario two, we know that、um, three vans and seven students. So, total number of students would be twenty-one. So, let's check our answer. In scenario one. Four um four vans times four students plus five five could not get up, so we have the same answer twenty one. So at this point, after learning this method, would you be able to solve this question easily? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's、um, presentation. And again,、um, if you do like it, please give me a like. At least I know whether have have I been doing the right job. Um, yes, that's it. Or even to subscribe to my channel for more of the videos. That's it. I wish you a very nice leap year today. So that's it. Have a nice day and enjoy learning math.